The trombone is a wonderfully expressive instrument, but it's also an instrument that is sorely misunderstood. The repertoire is a problem. We have gaping holes in it. Leopold Mozart wrote a lovely concerto, but unfortunately his son didn't. Um, Mendelssohn was commissioned to write a trombone concerto, but gave the commission to his first violin at the time, Ferdinand David, and we're left wondering what may have been. This has led to the perception that the trombone is not a serious instrument. However, this has not always been the case. Composers in the 19th century, such as Beethoven or Berlioz, wrote very idiomatically for the trombone. They wrote in a character that was based on a very solid um, symbolic dichotomy. On the one hand, we have the sacred, the heavenly, and on the other hand, the hellish and the profane. For example, Berlioz's Symphonie Fantastique, Beethoven's Three Aquale, or, or any of Brahms' symphonies. Unfortunately, these characteristics have been dissolved over the years. With Paradiso e Inferno, I have tried to resurrect these characteristics, to resurrect the long-lost Jekyll and Hyde character of the trombone. I've done this by pairing works together, by pairing a 20th century showpiece and segueing into a 19th century song. I've done this to try and make sense of the works, to try and make otherwise very challenging music much more understandable.